Just a heads up, I'm sweating buckets. That's how we're starting the video. Holy smokes, first things first. Raptors clinch a playoff spot for the what the fastest time in team history. But that's not even the fun part. This game was insane. Okay. Okay. First off, Raptors win 121-119 in overtime. First half was awful. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. First first quarter, your shot really wasn't falling, but neither was theirs. 27-23 Raptors after one. It's okay. Remember, the Raptors run a back-to-back. -back. They are not. Keep that in mind. Second quarter, Raptors can't shoot the ball for their life, and they can't defend for their life. The Pistons win that quarter 36-18. And it's just crazy because the Raptors are stuck by a ton at the half. And, oh, don't even get me going about what happened before that first half. First off, first off my goodness. DeLon Wright leaves the game because we heard in the last game it was his toe. I think it was a, toe, a big toe strain or something like that. Uh, he left the game at, uh, before the half. And we're like, oh, boy, DeLon, please don't aggravate it. We don't want it any worse. And then Serge Ibaka doesn't like a call. He starts heading to the bench, says a few things to the ref. Tee him up, and then literally right after, you're gone. Are you nuts? What happened to a T? He was already walking towards the bench. So everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. You're stuck by, what was it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, 16 there. Uh, you're down by 12, if, if my math is correct. I could, it could not be. Bear with me because I'm going nuts right now. You lose Serge Ibaka because the referee has a quick trigger finger, and that's that. And you lose DeLon Wright. Nothing could have gone any worse in that, and the team is shooting abysmal. They can't shoot the ball for their life. We have to come out in the third quarter strong, and by golly, do they do! Raptors, I mean, they score a total. Um, I'm not even going to, I was at 40, 50, I'm not, I'm not even going to try and how many points they had in the first half. You guys can throw it at me. I'm trying to count here, but I'm too flustered right now. The Raptors score 40 points alone in the third quarter. Defense is fantastic. They hold the Pistons to 25 points. And then bingo, bongo, you're up by one after three. What? And it wasn't the bench that did it. It was DeMar, Kyle, JV, Norman Powell. I mean, it was terrific. You go to the fourth, you're up by one, but you gotta, you gotta keep going. Tough, you know, you're, you're, uh, what is it? You're down by, uh, was it one with like uh, seven? I forgot the time limit, man. I'm so flustered, it's crazy. All I remember is DeMar DeRozan getting the inbound pass and just booking it right to the bucket. Nobody wants to take him except for the Lone Ranger, Anthony, sorry, Anthony Tolliver, sorry, sorry. My apologies. Rudy Gobert, if you guys remember that uh, vicious throwdown by DeMar DeRozan against Rudy Gobert. This is a spitting image. He comes and drives on Tolliver and my goodness. DeMar throws it down in his face. You see these right here? Do you see? He did. Anthony Tolliver was on one of these. Raptors up one and the foul. DeMar knocks down the shot. Blake Griffin gets it too as he backs down. You see Pascal Siakam. We're going to overtime. Holy smokes. I'm exhausted. We end overtime. Through the first two and a half minutes, neither team can make a basket. JV and uh, JV double dribbles. JV travels. Fred Van Vliet travels. We're like, what the heck's going on here? Oh my goodness. And then... Uh, who was it? Uh, who knocked down? I think it was uh, Reggie Bullock. The Raptors are up by three. They double um, Blake Griffin, who leaves Bullock open, and he knocks down a three. We're tied. Oh, my God. But the Raptors have the last shot to get the victory. And DeMar DeRozan gets the ball. He drives. He's in a crowd of three guys, and you know what we're used to? DeMar trying to finish that. But you know what he does instead? He goes up with it. All three guys jump with him. Who's in the corner? Wide open. 
Mr. Clutch Fred Van Vliet. This guy, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, coming into this game, he has been unbelievable. But today, he was 0 of 4 from the field. Or is he, oh, was he, what is he, what, I, what happened? Um, I lost him here. Uh, where is he? No, he was 1 of 9 from the field. He was, well, he still is 0 of 4 from 3. One of the, you, Damari Carroll, remember he talked about in the offseason about, well, you know, they didn't trust each other and all that kind of stuff. You gave it to a guy with the winning shot. He was shooting 1 of 9 in the game. You give it to him, and he knocks it down. Fred Van Vliet with 1.1 on the clock. Blake Griffin, Hail Mary 3, no good. And the Raptors, oh, oh my God. It was exhausting. Uh, you can probably see, actually, you probably see, you know, some sweating here. You guys can probably see it. They come away with the victory, and I got to give these guys credit. DeMar DeRozan finishes the game with 42 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists on 16 of 28 shooting, 57%, 8 of 8 from the line. The team, I got to give it to them. They made their free throws late. DeMar was 2 of 6 from 3. Kyle Lowry, as much as he was 4 of 8 shooting, 50%. Great job. 1 of 4 from 3. Not the greatest. Or no, no, excuse me. That was JV. Uh, Kyle Lowry was 3 of 7. He was terrific. 14 assists for Kyle. JV with the double-double. 14 and 11. Norman Powell, you know what? That is his game of the season. 17 points, 4 rebounds, and uh, 7 of 12 shooting, 3 of 5 from 3, plus 12 on the court. And the defense he brought was fun believable. I was going to go unbelievable, and I was going to say fun, but it just kind of mixed together. You guys get the gist of it. Oh, my goodness. I'm a, I know you guys are probably exhausted watching this game. I am, too. But you know what? The Raptors have, are first place by two and a half games. They, they, they're riding a beautiful win streak right now. What are they on now? I can't even imagine right now. Six-game win streak, and we're playing the Rockets on Friday after this emotional game. And you know what? The Raptors clinch a playoff spot. And what a game to do so. What a game by the Raptors. Oh, my goodness. I'm beat. You guys are probably exhausted as I am. The team shot 45%, 30% from three, 90% from the free throw line. The rebounds, they were plus two. However, in the overtime quarter, five minutes, whatever you want to call it, the Raptors had at least two offensive rebounds. What's the difference in, in offensive boards? Two. They outworked them. And the Raptors are the team on the second half of a back-to-back -back in overtime I mean, I want to say it's a road game, but for goodness, it's Air Canada West out there. I'm so proud of these guys. Doubled them in, in, in steals 8-4. Blocks were 8-6. Eight, eight to six. We only had 11 turnovers. They had 16. Wow. 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 47 and 16 are the Toronto Raptors. Or excuse me, 47 and 17 are the Toronto Raptors. And this game was on national TV. In the first half, they're all, everyone's like, oh, here are the Raptors, here they are. Now what are they saying, huh? Oh, and let me guess. Let me guess. We're playing the Detroit Pistons, right? So, you know, they were bound to break down eventually and all that kind of stuff. So the Raptors, you know, they should have killed them, but they didn't. You know what? You can shove it. Because the Raptors outworked the Pistons in the second half, and they got the dagger. And we're on the second half of a back-to-back, -back, may I add. Whoo! Credits to all the Raptor fans who made the trip to Detroit. You guys are fantastic. I mean, th this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You know, you gotta... I, I said in the last video, I'm like, this team has to come out flying because in the second half, it's gonna be tricky because you're on a back-to-back. -back. Well, they got schmelt in the first half and they come out flying in the third. These guys worked their tail off. Pascal Siakam, he was huge. CJ Miles didn't have a big night, but you know what? He had eight points on two of eight shooting, two of seven from three. Not the greatest. Jakob Pertl, he was big. Oh, I mean, in 18 minutes, DeLon Wright obviously left. Malcolm Miller, I thought he was terrific in only five minutes, but you know what? I'm just so flustered. We're going to call this video here, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness.
Next up for the Raptors, it doesn't get any less stressful for us as the Raptors head home Friday. Take it easy tomorrow, boys, as you welcome in the first... Well, hold on. You welcome in the first... This is good. This is nuts. First place in the West plays first place in the East. Rockets and Raptors, 7.30 tip-off on Friday night. Oh, baby, that's going to be a doozy, all right? So there we go. That's going to do it for this one, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, and man, if you enjoyed this game, smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Uh, comment down below, what you guys think of this game? Do I need to say who's your MVP? I mean, would you give it to Freddie for the late shot? But you got to say DeMar with 42 on amazing shooting percentages. He was terrific. Who's your player of the game? And we'll talk to you guys. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, Podcast Tuesday, that one should and mo probably will be. Um, oh, my goodness. Uploaded, uh, oh my goodness, on Tuesday, what am I talking about? Uploaded to iTunes, we're just getting, uh, we're just working on getting that uh, uh, approved so we can get that going on Tuesday for you guys. Again, link is in the description for the TO Sports Talk podcast channel. You're darn tootin', we made one of those. Put the first two episodes on there. Go subscribe, do all that kind of stuff for there. Show some support. And uh, that, we'll, we'll, po we'll be posting um, <clears throat> the podcast to that. And that channel, as well as, it, it'll go right to iTunes as well. So you guys will be able to download that and have a good time listen to us um, on there. We'll talk to you guys, Jays edition, Monday. As we'll break down the past week's games. Hey, the Jays played a, squi a split squad game today. They won both games. There you go. Everyone's going to be quiet now. 5-8 and eight on, the, on, the pre on the spring training. We'll talk to you guys, Leafs edition, Saturday. As they're at home taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. They look to break their four-game losing streak. But right now, who the heck cares? Because the Raptors... Oh boy, an emotional game today. They clinch a playoff spot. I can't wait to see you guys down there at Jurassic Park in the playoffs. It just fires me up. And we'll talk to you guys Friday, Raptors edition, 7.30 tip-off, Raptors, Rockets. Let's go for eight straight. They have 17 in a row. Let's break it. Let's go for eight. We'll talk to you guys then.